Well, I think with like the families, uh, there's a great sense of relief initially. The, the level of truth recovery here uh, has been fantastic, and credit must go to Dr. McGuire and the, the Ombudsman team. But there's a real sense of anger and shock. Uh, this report, let's make no mistake about it, is explosive. The level of collusion, uh, the fact that this presents a real challenge now to the British Secretary of State, Theresa Villiers, to not only retract her comments earlier in the year, uh, where she linked the Lock and Island atrocity uh, to pernicious, as she put it, attempts to rewrite history. But what we have today is a real challenge to her. Here was weapons facilitated their travel to Ireland by the British state, their use was facilitated by the British state, their hiding off afterwards was facilitated by the British state, and the getting away scot-free of the perpetrators was facilitated by the British state. Let's make no mistake about it, this is explosive. So I want to pay tribute to the families here today and to Niall Murphy and to relatives of justice as well. Their campaign has been long, it's been very, very hard. They've had to fight at every single step uh, along the way. And today, you know, the entire South Down community, I think the entire people of Ireland uh, will stand shoulder to shoulder with them as they begin the next stage in their journey. And that's accountability for collusion. Collusion was no illusion at all. These families can tell you all about it. But the weapons used here today, there's countless families, 70, hundreds of families now that are going to be saying, what about my case? What about the collusion in my case? So this is a real challenge uh, for those of us in government now. Where is the response going to be? As a family, we are happy about this report. Happy is probably not the right word. It's more bittersweet than anything. It's, um, it's a good thing, but we can't believe the, the truth and, and the, the facts that have been recovered. It's, it's scary when you think about it. But as a group, we are, we're glad that we finally got the truth that we've been so long shouting for. Now we need is justice. Somebody needs to be held accountable. It, it was it was shocking that um, police had the names of, of suspects the next day and they weren't arrested until four weeks later and were telephoned by a policeman to, you're going to be arrested tomorrow in regards to Lock and Island. It's it's ridiculous, it's shocking, it's disgusting. Theresa Villiers said that it, it, it wasn't the RUC or the British Army that pulled the trigger in Lock and Island, they supplied the gun. What, 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 what more can she say? I want her to retract her remarks and apologise, her and the British government. This is a good day for the Lock and Island families and the community of Lock and Island. I first began working with the families in 2005. At that point, they felt there was no point in even having a campaign, that uh, they, would, they, they were worried they would never get the truth. Here they are today, years later, and they have the truth. And the reason they have is because of their tenacity, their courage, and their determination. And also because they teamed up with a very good defence lawyer, uh, Niall Murphy. We heard Emma Rogan there. Emma was eight when her father was killed. Eight years of age. I didn't know Adrian Rogan, but I know he would be so proud of Emma today. I know that all the people who are no longer with them would be so, so proud. Because they have done their relatives proud. They have stood up and they are counted. And that's what counts here. And not only have they exposed truth about what's happened in Lock and Island, what they've also done is created avenues for other families. Well, today's report outlines in very specific and great detail a litany of examples and evidence of collusion. The magnitude of this report may take some time to get to grips with. With regards to the specifics of the Lachan Island report, there is explicit evidence that uh, informers were involved in the murder gang and that they had killed before. They had the confidence to go about uh, the, the, their murders insofar as they knew that they would be protected. They knew that they would benefit from impunity. And some of the issues in the report are staggering. Uh, on the 21st of August 1994, the report advises us that uh, four of the murder suspects were, were tipped off by a policeman that they were to be arrested the next day. When you set this aside, uh, information that has already been in the public domain with regards to the failure by police to secure and preserve evidence, nine out of 16 suspects did not have their fingerprints, 
DNA or hair samples taken appropriately. Uh, evidence was destroyed. The largest physical exhibit in this case, the getaway car, was destroyed by police within 10 months, thereby depriving any future in investigation of the developments in forensic science from what could only be described as a treasure trove of forensic evidence. A car the size of it. Uh, th 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 this report will take some reading and re-reading before we will fully appreciate its magnitude.